Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use some of the developer tools to help enhance your spreadsheet. So on the screen, I've got some simple data that I'm going to use a few of the controls on the developer tab. Now, if you haven't got the developer tab, you basically need to right click on any other tab and then you can customize ribbon and then just tick it on, tick it on there and then it's going to be on all the time. Click OK to that. In there, you have this area where it says controls and the features I'm going to look at first off are in here where it says insert. And I want to look at the spinner control, the option group and the checkbox, which is being replaced depending on what version of Excel you've got. But let's just go for the spin control first. If I click on that, draw myself a little rectangle. And then what you do is right click on it and format control. So all I want to happen here is this control to link to the number of copies of these books. So I'm clicking on that cell. You can see there that it's defaulting at zero start point, incrementing by one up to 30,000. That's all it can go to. Click OK to that, click off, and then you can start using the little arrow to increment the numbers like so. Now, if I just do a little data validation list here, so I can have those courses in this list. So data validation, list option, and I've called that list of courses, courses. So I can just refer to it equals courses. And then that should give me that list like that. So I'll select word two. Now the price, it's just been typed in there, but I want to do a lookup that's going to give me the price there. So it's just going to be equals V lookup I'll use, VL, looking at that, comma, the table is called training, comma, I want column three, which is the price, comma zero, exact match. You could use X lookup as well, it's up to you. Tick that, it gives me the price. So I select a course. And it gives me the price. So the total needs to equal that times that plus that. Take that. 35, 10 of those. That's correct. There's no bonus at the moment. So every time I change that, if I go down a bit, you can see the total price changing like that back down to zero I'll just have one there now what I want the option control to do is to basically give myself a bonus 10% bonus so in there I've got a formula looking at j1 divided by 10 so I'm going to use j1 for the option groups and you can see how that works if I go back to the developer tab and select option group which is a little circle like a little bullseye button you can draw that on there I'm going to do control D three times to get myself four of them all together so you just need to position them wherever you want them to go and if i make this one a bit bigger you can actually get rid of this label if you just sit yourself in front of that i should have done that first actually and then bring that back smaller like that so you just have a small little box that this is sitting in but if i uh, delete those off you have to right click on them then click on it and then delete right click click delete so if i click on this one and then just do that control d again three times so now the the actual text is off so it's a bit bit of a fiddle just right clicking on these and then trying to position these but it's worth the while and then the last one is that one move that into position you can just spend half your life actually lining these up but once you've got them lined up that'll do okay i'm not going to spend ages lining but when i click on that i want it to put a, a number in there so the first one will put a number one the second one will put a number two and so on and so on but what we have to do is right click format control again but this time you only have to do it once because they're all going to be linked. I'm going to tick that one, 
click OK, click off it, tick the next one down. Now it's putting a number in there, but you can't see it because I've formatted this to be hidden. So if I just go Control 1 and go back to number format, you can see there, look, I've just done that. If I put this back to general, you'll see the number. It's got a 1, it's got a 2, it's got a 3, it's got a 4. So to hide things, you just do Control 1, which will get into format cells, go to custom, and then get rid of the word general and just do this with the quotes, two quotes like that. That's a symbol that will hide it. Hides it there, but you can see it on the formula bar. So that's what the option group does. It gives you that option there. So in there, I've got a formula. It's looking at GA1, which is 1, 2, 3, or 4, and it's dividing by 10. This is giving me that 40p bonus. You can do a different formula in there, whatever you want, if you want to change that bonus. So I could say, I could label this 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, or whatever. Totally up to you. Now the tick box or check box, depending what version of Excel you've got, you might have to come here for it. So just draw draw it quite big. Same thing, you've got the label that you can get rid of. Just get rid of that label. Now this is just going to show true or false. If I link this to a, a to a cell, so if I go into format control, just link it to any cell really, that cell. Okay. It says true or false when you tick it, true or false. And then you can do multiple ones. So you could have a if statement looking at that to say complete. If it's true or not complete, you could hide that as well with the, the two quotes in format cells so people don't see it. You could put this on top of it. What I've done, it sits on top of it. So this is what I've had to do in the past. But now in these newer versions of Excel, Office 365, you, on the insert tab, you have actually got this checkbox option. So I'll just click on that and it puts it on there for you but when you tick it you don't see you haven't got if i right click on that i haven't got anything for me to do with that um but it is actually saying true and when you tick it it says true when you don't tick it it says false in this cell so you can refer to it so if i try that with an if statement let's have a look equals if tab that cell equals true comma complete comma not complete or whatever else you want to do like that close the bracket click the tick so it says not complete now it says complete or complete because I didn't spell it right it's the TE of it there you go. So even though you haven't got the option like you do on this one to right click, it does exactly the same. It's putting the word true in this cell. You've got more of a scope with that. This one looks a bit clunky compared to this new one. But I do know that if you haven't got Office 365, you might not have this at all. So you will have to use this option. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use some of these controls to enhance your spreadsheet and make it look better. So hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.